over the last several years, I've had many criticisms of guns. I've reviewed hundreds of guns. Uh, I have tons of top 10 lists and uh, tons of worst guns, best guns, best revolvers, worst revolvers, best shotguns, worst shotguns. I, I just, I'm in a constant state of taking a look at guns and kind of giving you my two cents on what I think is taking place with these guns. And there's a phenomenon that I've seen with only one fan base that's that's really particularly interesting and it's actually caused what I believe kind of like a cultural shift in guns overall. Well, now what am I getting at? Well, before I get into it, I do wanna take a moment and thank our sponsor, ES Power Drink, because goodness gracious, they make this wonderful drink with Trinidad Scorpion Peppers. I cannot eat a Trinidad Scorpion Pepper, but I could definitely put this drink down. And I have lost 30 pounds over the last few months. I mean, if you look at videos from like back in December of me, I, I look like a totally different person. And I attribute much of that to ES Power Drink because the health benefits of Trinidad Scorpion Peppers, you know, you, you're gonna burn calories, you're gonna sleep better, you're gonna have better focus, you're gonna be have a better outlook on life. Uh, I mean, and I'm sure there's a lot more to it because it's putting your body through a state of thermogenesis and which puts you kind of in a fight or flight mode, which then engages all those things and strengthens all those things. Uh, it's just fascinating and it's actually really good. Now they put them in these K-cups. It's way more affordable than when it was in a bottle. And in my opinion, it's better freshly brewed. So uh, that link is below. All right, now what am I getting at? Well, there's an interesting phenomenon that I had seen. You know, when you put out thousands of videos, uh, and I have put out a little over 2,000 videos um, about guns, uh, you're obviously saying a lot of things. And, and I have learned uh, that it doesn't matter what you say. You're gonna, there's gonna be a small population of people that are angry. Like I can get on a stage and I can say, I like chocolate pie and turn around and walk away. And what I'm gonna find is that there's gonna be a big population of people that are pretty bad. They're, you know, why not Apple? Like, how dare he like chocolate pie? Like, they're, for whatever reason, they're gonna be upset. There's always a few. And so, so no matter what I say about it, whether I'm talking about a SIG or Smith & Wesson, if I say I like a SIG, um, there's gonna be a small population of people that are gonna be, you know, angry about that and there's going to be a population of people that are very happy about that but it's something about glock i can say something negative about sig smith and wesson ruger any anything any gun out there and people will disagree or they will maybe get like oh that guy doesn't know what he's talking about you know my ruger's great you know, that kind of thing. Glock people take it very, very personal. It's a very interesting phenomenon because there's a lot of byproducts of this too. It's not just that they get take it personal. There's, it's a cultural shift in guns. Uh, what it has done, because it, 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 one, I, I can't really explain it. If I say I don't like a Glock or like if I make a video, the problem with Glock, um, look at the comment, they light it up uh, and they get, it, it's not just that they disagree. There's clearly a level of anger, um, uh, that falls behind it. Uh, that that's, it's not just that I disagree. It's that I disagree and I'm actually kind of angry about it. Uh, well, why is that? Well, it's because they love Glocks. I mean, it's got a fan base that's unlike any other and, and, and the interesting thing about it is that Glock has really only made one gun. I mean, you might argue two when you look at the Rimfire 22 LR, because that is a different gun altogether than, than the Glock 17 and all of its variations. Because really Glock made the Glock 17 and then they make them in different sizes and calibers um, and different generations, but it's still the same gun. <laughs> and they just call it something different. And, but the Glock 22, that's a different, that is a different, actual different gun altogether. But, uh, so what you have is you really just have this, this, you know, the most sold gun in the world, you know, because if you said, well, what's the most sold gun, handguns in the world? Well, the Glock 19 would be on there. The Glock 17 would be on there. Glock 43 would be on, you know, but if you just put Glock period, 
you know, it as one gun, it's by far, like if not, you know, like for sure the most sold in the world, but by far at that point, like, nothing even comes close at that point. So it's got this fan base that recognizes that it's got a couple things to it. You know, it, it it's, it's one of the, well, it is the first carbon based grip um, with a strike fire trigger. It, it's the first of its kind and, and it's incredibly accurate. I mean, sports shooters use Glock like almost as much as they use 1911s. Uh, it's a very, very accurate gun. It's a very durable gun. I mean, I had a Glock that I tried to destroy. I like put it at the bottom of the lake for a month and it did great. I froze it in ice and it did great. You know, it just, it's, it's kind of the indestructible gun. So this fan base is, you know, I understand why they like it. I just don't understand why they get angry if somebody doesn't. Now here's the other phenomenon that it's done is it's actually created an entire population of people who hate the Glock simply because there's so many people that are so energized about it. And, and that it's just human nature. There's always, if, if everybody likes a thing, there's gonna be a population of people that just simply don't like it because everybody else does like it. Um, you know, no, don't, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people that just don't want a plastic gun. You know, like my brother being one of them, he will never buy a uh, gun that's not all metal. Like he's not gonna buy a plastic grip gun ever, 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 ever. Um, no polymer grips in his gun collection. He's got a big gun collection. You know, so there, you know, I understand why some people don't like them, but there's actually a lot of people that hate them. And a lot of it's because of the fan base and the way the fan bases are. So it's really kind of an interesting thing. Um, you know, I guess in the end, I'll kind of go back to the title. You know, it's okay, Glock people, calm down. People have their opinions. You know, I don't have to love everything about Glock. I can dislike some things about it, you know? And that, I'm still me, I'm st it's still okay. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. Um, so there you go, you know, I, again, you could, you know, I'll go back to what I said at the beginning. I could go out and say, I like chocolate pie and you're gonna get a population of people that are upset about it. And, uh, that's just how it is. Uh, it's just how it is. Uh, so it's okay, Glock people. It's okay. Uh, any thoughts or insight on this, definitely put it below. Uh, again, I want to encourage you to check out ES Power Drink, man. Uh, if you're having issues with your health or sleep or weight or whatever it is, give it a shot. That link, that link is below. So, But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God Family and Guns. And as always, I've got love your family and love guns. Thank you.